Hello guys, right in the middle of um, Linford Hall. There's the hall in the back. Just zoom in so you can see it. A bit windy in today, but it's still nice. Anyway, this is Linford Hall and the surrounding grounds. Excuse the camera shake. Quite a scenic and some nice reflections here today. Quite a few people around as well. So a little wonder. It's the lake. Right there, some nice clouds today as well. You know, trees have got some nice vibrance today. Some really, really nice coloured going on. Taking a few pictures. Anyway, I'll pause this video and I'll recommence it in a minute. Hello guys, video two. It's a little bit windy and choppy here today, but uh, still quite nice to get out. Some lovely scenes around Linford Hill here today. We're recording this on a Canon 80D without an external microphone and gimbal, so the footage would probably be a bit shaky. I'm not a professional by any means, so please bear with me. Any CCs are welcome, of course, as usual. Anyway, I'll just take you into the grounds a little tiny bit. I have to excuse the wind, there's a little mild breeze out. From what I can make out, this is a grade two listed hotel. Really nice day, as you can see. Some nice ornamental gardens. The actual building itself is uh, quite a luxurious hotel slash manor and uh, has a lot of visitors every year who plan their weddings and come here. Quite understandable, it's a beautiful place. So excuse me while I take a still image. Let's take pictures in between. That's my man's got a tripod, which I've gently put on the floor before anybody moans at me about it. Centerized focal point here of a uh, fountain. Very, very grand place. It's lovely here. Come here quite regularly to do a few tours and take pictures occasionally. Don't forget if you like what I do and you want some tutorials on editing landscapes and other bits and pieces to subscribe to my channel which is Lee Lewis Landscapes and Photography There's a bit of a pond just beyond here I'm not going to go up there because there is resonance in the dining room, it's not really fair. Anyway, stay tuned for video part three, which will fade in shortly after this one here.
Hello again guys, I'm just going to turn my uh, 8D screen a little bit just so I can see what I'm doing. Um, hello guys, um, video free, my screen hasn't even tilted there so I'm looking at it upside down right? quite funny. <laughs> anyway, this is Linford Hall Hotel. I'm going to see my uh, camera all set up there on live view to take a picture. I'll just get a bit of a closing of it, if I can. I'm just about to see it on live view here. I'm not sure you can see that, guys, or not. Doesn't appear you can. Just going to switch to auto eyes for a minute, and hopefully it'll brighten it for you. Nope. There you go, you can see the live view now. A bit blown out there. Bear with me, I'm so not used to this video malarkey. Anyway, I've got a um, cooking pea system on with a ND2 filter, which is on here. Right by there, as you can see it just attaches to your screen, to your lens, via this ring here, and then it just slots on. The light mirror is set correctly at uh, 100 ISO, 200 shutter speed, and F9. There we go, on the picture. Anyway, quick walk around the grounds again. Can't promise my footage won't be shaky or blown out, because I was saying I'm not a videographer. So please bear with me. There we are, looks a bit better. Anyway, that's the fountain. You can see my silhouette and shadow there. Hopefully YouTube um, will stabilise the video a little bit for you. I'm just using the built-in microphone that is on the actual camera as well. So nothing spectacular. Some lovely ground, so I absolutely adore coming to this place. Anyway, there's the hotel and all its glory. I'm just going to cut up this little garden now. In fact, no, I won't. There's residents there, so it's not really fair to disturb them. So I'll head down here. Again, apologise for any shaky footage. Not a professional by any means. These gates are amazing as well. Right here. Yeah, a little bit of a dwarf oil here. I can just hop over. The old Urbex style. <laughs> Gotta love it. Here's my... I know so it's gone really dark now, so please bear with me. There we are, so what I say now I hope it'll, it'll do a brightness for me. Not of a videographer by any means as I've already stated. There's the gates there. Some lovely woodland here. Even the walls here are pretty. A lot of damage throughout the years, but I highly recommend people to come and have a mooch. And the good thing is, the hotel are very happy for people to come and actually have a look as well. Anyway, I'm going to switch my lens around. Hopefully, it's tilted. Yay, it's actually tilted this time. Anyway. Um, a few of you will know me for doing airbags photography. This is now my new um, project. I do it with Escape the Wild, who is Lou Waterfield as well. Um, not going to disclose too much at the moment, but uh, there is some big things ahead and some big collaborations with some popular landscape photographers. Um, heading up to Cambria again soon, the Lake District, up into Scotland, and then down south more. 
landscape images. This place is unbelievable, I love it. These stairs are absolutely stunning. They even got the hotel there in the side in the back, which is nice. Also, if you do come across this video by pure luck and you have any recommendations for SLR gimbals or anything which don't break the earth, please feel free to comment below and let me know. Anyway, get to the car park now. So I'm going to turn my lens around again and I shall see you guys in a second. Here we are guys. Luckily there's nobody here in the dining room at the moment. So I'll just show you a little bit of what the gardens look like from up here. Beautiful hotel. It really is. There's the ornamental gardens from this perspective. You've got some lovely pictures of the clouds there as well. Highly recommend this hotel to anybody that wants to come out. Anyway, wind's picking up. I shall catch you guys later. Thank you for viewing.